Thank you for joining us for today's Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 Business Intelligence Tools Demo. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 provides out-of-the-box OLAP cubes and reports that are located in customized employee role centers. These enable users to extract data as needed without the help of IT staff. In this demonstration, we are going to look at the value of reports development provided by Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009's integration with Microsoft SQL Server, specifically SQL Server Analysis Services and SQL Server Reporting Services. In this demo, we're going to play the role of Kevin, who has a sales meeting with his team in a few minutes. He wants to discuss the close rate of medium-term leads. To do this, he needs to take some data with him to the meeting to use in his discussion points. First, he wants to select a range of CRM information, in this case, opportunities. So if we go over and choose CRM, and then go up and expand the opportunities, we are shown a list of our current opportunities. Kevin and any other user in the system can easily export this data to Excel. Once the data is in Microsoft Excel, Kevin can put it in a pivot table to analyze it. So we will go up and insert a pivot table and select OK. And Kevin can now drag the fields from the pick list down to the pivot table boxes. In this instance, he just wants a count of the customers and the status of each of the opportunities through the prognosis phases. So if we choose the information that Kevin wants, the name, the prognosis, and the status, we can go down and choose the name as our values, and we can move the prognosis to our column labels. Now Kevin can present this data easily with Microsoft Excel using the pivot chart functionality. And if we choose which type of pivot chart we would like, Kevin now has the data in a more presentable format. He can also start to see the trends that he wants to discuss at his upcoming meeting. But to be able to discuss this data at the meeting, Kevin needs to take it to Microsoft PowerPoint. If we copy it and open up Microsoft PowerPoint, we can then paste the chart, and there it is. Kevin can now easily see the trend that he wants to talk about with his team. It looks like they're doing well engaging and closing customer opportunities early, but if they leave the opportunities for too long, then they're lost. So you can see with this small demo that Microsoft Dynamics AX has the tools to help you extract the data from the business application and carry it over to other applications. Simple tools like this facilitate the ability for users to work quickly to collaborate with colleagues. This enhances business agility, making it possible for sales staff and others to respond to changing market conditions and to make informed business decisions. Now, Contoso is getting close to the end of the financial period. Kevin wants to analyze some of the transactional data in the business application so that he can plan for the next fiscal year. He also wants to investigate the retail sales to see whether he can run some promotional activities in the future. His sales team has been selling DVRs, but they want to see whether they can upsell more of these to people who already have DVD players. Kevin can quickly and securely access the OLAP cubes from Microsoft Excel. He has secure access to the business data through his single sign-on, which is provided through Windows authentication. This means that Kevin doesn't have to deal with passwords in order to access the OLAP cubes. So if we choose the SQL Server Analysis Services and click Next, we can enter the server name here, and then click Next. We'll choose the Sales Cube, and then click Finish. And once we click OK, we can now select from a range of measures. In this example, we want to look at sales against costs. And since Kevin is only interested in the retail customers, we are going to add a filter on customer groups. And then we're going to place a filter for just the retail customers. And we'll click OK. 
Now let's just say that Kevin is only interested in the retail sales at our Seattle location. So then we can go up and refilter this based on just our retail customers in the Seattle store. We click OK and we have a more accurate view of just our Seattle store. Now Kevin wants to see the categories of products that they're selling from this store. He can easily add the items group to this chart. And we can see that the Seattle store is selling a lot of DVR and speakers. So Kevin now wants to put this new data in a chart. And by using Microsoft Excel, he can easily add this on. So if we insert a column chart, he'll be able to make this data more visually appealing. And if we can change the style, he can now continue with his analysis. And let's say Kevin wants to look at the data as a comparative over a number of years. He can easily scroll over and choose the time dimension from the list and add that item to the analysis. And you can see that the chart changed once we filtered more data in. Now Kevin wants to talk with his team about a marketing campaign to increase sales. So he's interested in the demographic data of his company. The demographic data can be provided by Microsoft Map Point. Kevin can apply the data by using the data mapping wizard. With this, Kevin can select the type of embedded data that he wants. Microsoft Map Point has the U.S. Census and demographic data built in. Here, there are a range of data points that Kevin can choose from. Because Contoso is an electronics manufacturing distribution and retail company, Kevin is interested in the data on electric goods. So if we scroll down, we can select households with DVD. And he wants to filter this data by county. And if we click next, Kevin can choose the formatting options for how this data will appear on the map. In this instance, we want equal data points and we'll increase the number of ranges to five. And if we change the color to a blue to yellow and click finish, we can now browse the map and see the areas that his sales team is most interested in viewing, which would be this blue area around the map. Now let's say Kevin wants to add this to a sales presentation. So we'll save it as Households with DVD 2003 by County we can switch to Microsoft PowerPoint and add a new slide and by using the insert feature up at the top we can add the map with the demographic data that we just built so if we create from file and browse the file we see the households with DVD right there so we'll select that click OK and there's our map now Kevin is set for his discussion at the meeting now if we switch back over to Microsoft Excel, Kevin wants to share the presentation we just made. He can do this by using the sharing and collaboration features that are enabled with Microsoft SharePoint services. First we have to save this document as Retail Sales Analysis. And by working directly from Microsoft Excel, we can create a workspace to share this spreadsheet. To do that, we want to create a document workspace. So if we publish a create document workspace, we can add the URL and click create. Now the shared workspace is created and Kevin can open it in a web browser. He can also send the link to the rest of his team to collaborate. From here the sales team can store additional documents and presentations and if they want they can turn their analysis into a project after the meeting. Now we'll walk through an example of how Kevin can develop an ad hoc transactional report. This shows the process of developing a report that Kevin may need to distribute to his team on a regular basis. For this example, we're going to be using the report builder provided with Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services to develop a quotations list. Kevin can easily start the report builder from the Microsoft Dynamics AX client by choosing the report builder. 
Kevin can now start to develop the report. This is going to be a simple report, just a simple listing of quotations that Kevin wants his team to run. This way they can review and then follow up on quotations in a timely manner. So if we choose the quotations, Kevin can just drag the required fields to create the report. For this example, he wants to use the name, the quotation, and the expiry date. Kevin can also add a title to this report. We'll just call it the quotations list. And now we can run the report for Kevin, and we see our quotations list right there. If necessary, you can change the sorting and filtering options. This will give you some flexibility when running the report. You can analyze the data before printing it out. For now, we will sort on the expiry date. Kevin also has a range of options to work with the data from the report. For example, if necessary, he can export the report to Excel. And to do that, we'll simply export to Excel, save the file as the quotations list, and if necessary, he can work with the data within Excel. Once Kevin's happy with the report, he'll want to share it with his team. But first, he'll need to save the report, again as the quotations list. And now he can share the report with his team as desired. Now, we will look at how Kevin can view and share the report that we just developed. We will also have a look at how Kevin can add the report to his role center and see how Kevin's team can subscribe to reports to have them delivered via email. First, we'll look at how Kevin can publish his report to his role center. And to do that, we need to edit his role center. On this page, Kevin can add and remove web parts as needed. For now, we're going to add a web part in the footer region. And in this example, we are going to add the report viewer web part to his role center. And then if we go in and edit and modify the share web part, we can specify the server and name of the report. And once we're done adding the report viewer web part, we can exit the edit mode and scroll down in our role center and see the report we just added. This is just a simple report, but it shows what can be done with the tools. Any report that is developed within the report builder, as we did earlier, or with the report development tools, can be displayed in the role center for quick access by employees. Now we're going to look at how others can use the report that Kevin developed. For example, any of Kevin's team members can subscribe to the report he just made. If we choose the Dynamics link, we can scroll down the page and see the quotations list we just made. Now that I've run the report, I get an option to subscribe to it. This will let me specify options about how I want the report to run when I'm not around. In this instance, we'll add a subscription for Kevin, and he wants the report rendered in an Excel format. Now, the powerful feature about subscribing to a report is that you can specify the schedule. This lets users specify which days and which times of the day that the report should be delivered to them. For this example, we're only going to run this on a one-time basis. So if we click once and OK, we can scroll down, click OK again, and now Kevin can log into his email account and see the report that has just been sent to him. So if we open up his Microsoft Office Outlook, you can see that Kevin can open his report directly from his email. This will save him time by not having to run the report every time he needs it. This is great for weekly, monthly sales reports or other regular reports needed by a group of people in the organization. Feel free to contact Merit Solutions for more help on Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009.